In this video, I am going to show how to disassemble and reassemble a standard body ported four way five port solenoid valve. First, I'm removing the solenoid coil retention nut. Do not lose the uh, spring lock washer here, you're going to need that later. Set the coil aside, set the washer and the nut to the side. Now there's four screws, two on this end and two on the other end. These retain the spring and the spool. So use a standard uh, number one or number two Phillips screwdriver, depending on your screws, and uh, pull both end caps off. This end cap will actually have the spring in it. Don't lose them, obviously. They're small and usually metric since most of these types of solenoid valves are imports. You're going to need that spring later too. Um, the spring is what keeps the valve in its normally closed position or its you know standard unenergized position. Um, and we're moving the screws on the coil end now. This is essentially a tiny little valve in itself when the coil energizes it uh, causes air to actually push the spool to the side. So all you do is push the spool out of the body. Now the direction does matter, so don't get it mixed up. You want to make sure the spool goes back in the body the same way you took it out. Now all of these O-rings are what actually do the sealing and uh, keep the air going in the correct direction. Um, if these get worn or dry or full of water, um, you can replace them as long as the aluminum is not uh, broken or damaged. So you can just replace the O-rings, relubricate them, clean the block out real well, and uh, once you do that, you can reassemble it. Uh, here you just put the now clean, dry, lubricated spool back in. Make sure that the end, the solid end, goes to the same end as this uh, coil end. Um, you don't want to put the end of the spool that has the spring counterbore this direction, otherwise your valve won't work correctly. So go ahead and retighten the screws here. Put the spring in the counterboard end of the spool. Piston. Lots of names you can call it. Make sure the uh, the o you didn't lose the O-ring in this end cap. The O-rings are important, otherwise your valve will just leak out the end cap. Uh, Retighten your screws. Careful not to strip them. And then put the solenoid coil back on. Put the spring tension washer back on and tighten the retention nut back on by hand. It's real easy to strip it, so don't grab it with channel locks or anything. And that's it. It's how to disassemble and reassemble a standard solenoid valve.